We are faithful the Mass today is, uh, in honor of our today's Saint, Saint uh, Lawrence. Uh, he was one of the seven, seven deacons of the Roman Church in the uh, third century when the persecutions, very cruel and fierce persecutions, were uh, ravaging uh, throughout this holy uh, city of uh, Rome. And in the life of St. Lawrence, we see very clearly what uh, God uh, keeps uh, as his most precious possession on earth. The people, uh, the people of the world, that is, uh, the rich and mighty and uh, famous, they value property, they value material uh, things more than anything else in uh, the world. Usually, uh, ordinary young person's uh, dream or goal in uh, life is to get as a good uh, job as uh, possible, to make as much money as possible, or uh, if it's uh, the question uh, of uh, uh, criminal ways uh, to uh, get into crime industry where he can make as fast and great profits as possible, usually dealing with drugs. The world truly appreciates money and fortune and they usually spare, uh, spares uh, no uh, no effort or even uh, no crime or sin to get uh, himself, to get itself lots of gold, fortune and property. But uh, Saint uh, Lawrence, when he was uh, faced with the Roman officials who demanded from him to show where is the great property and possession and riches of uh, the uh, of the Catholic uh, Church in uh, Rome. This uh, uh, this uh, uh, saint uh, said about collecting all the poor people of this uh, big city, the uh, infirm and the religious, but who uh, lived by the alms of the faithful. And he then presented all these poor and weak in front of the officials and said, See the treasures of the church. And that's why our Lord uh, in his Gospels uh, has so often talked about that we have to be charitable, we have to be uh, merciful, we must do good to our neighbor, especially if our neighbor is in need, if he uh, lacks something essential to have himself a good life, something which we ourselves might have uh, or possess in abundance, uh, because a Christian should uh, uh, never uh, uh, be attached to worldly possessions uh, or uh, riches. The greatest treasury what a Christian uh, can uh, possess is a good heart uh, in a good soul which is made holy by sanctifying uh, grace. In that kind of a soul, with that kind of a good heart, is such a great possession, and uh, is such a great treasury, is such a great richness uh, uh, in this world, that you could not buy that kind of a heart, or that kind of a soul, with a million dollars, or billion dollars, or all the money and gold, gold and fortune in uh, the world. So when we think of, uh, about uh, the present crises in this world or in this religion, like, you know, why there are uh, so few rich people and so many poor people, or why is Holy Catholic uh, religion nowadays so small when heresies and false religions and atheism go uh, around rampant, let us remember the great teaching of St. Lawrence. What is all the sin? What is all the fortune? What is all the treasury of the whole world compared to one faithful soul here on earth? And then we truly see uh, how foolish and how stupid it would be to collect ourselves great treasury of riches uh, in this world. Because at the hour of our death, we will lose everything. We will lose our house, we will lose our possession, and we will also, we will even lose our dear 
family members. At the hour of our death, we are all by ourselves. But if we have kept ourselves a good heart, a loving, forgiving, and caring heart, and if we have kept our soul as a pure, washed uh, and as uh, white as snow by sanctifying grace, then we don't have a reason to worry. And also, we don't have reason uh, to worry uh, I, either when we are already here on earth. So, what does it matter if we lack great money or great possession uh, or great uh, riches or fame here on uh, this earth? One single faithful soul uh, matters in the uh, eyes of the God more than all the riches in the world uh, combined. And if we present our soul uh, pure and white as snow, washed clean in the precious blood of uh, Jesus, uh, then we have such a great uh, reward awaiting for us uh, in heaven and such a great joy and happiness already here on earth. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.